It's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I'm up here in Vermont. Just got six inches of fresh snow. And I'm about to get out of the car, head into the woods, and hopefully pick up a fresh track. Uh, it's seven o'clock right now. So I got all day. It's been about a half hour so far and I just came to a barnyard. Tracks everywhere. Looks like they've been feeding in here after it snowed. There's no snow on any of the tracks. So I'm gonna work my way through here and try to sort this out and hopefully I can find the tracks leaving out of here, get on them and track them down. Well, I just got it all sorted out. I actually saw the deer. It was a doe and a fawn. They uh, saw me, took off up the hill. There was nothing else with them, and I just came up here and checked. And it's just those two tracks coming out of here. So I'm going to continue on my way. It's still early, so I'm not in a big rush. Well, I just made it up to the top. It's nine o'clock. Uh, right when I got up here, I found a set of old tracks heading right through the saddle, going down. I'm not gonna follow them. I'm just gonna keep working my way. Pretty much the opposite way that this deer went. I'm gonna work my way around the mountain and back down the other side. Just working my way back down this mountain. Uh, I just came across the smoking fresh track. 
I'm gonna get on it and I'm gonna move as quietly as possible, go nice and slow. Uh, hopefully I can uh, get a crack at him. I'll let you guys know how I make out. Been following him for probably a half a mile. I just came to a spot where he was feeding. There, there's a few others. You could see where he was nipping the buds off. These little uh, saplings. Seems like I'm uh, making some good progress, so I'm just gonna keep on moving at the same speed and. Uh, be nice and quiet. Right now the wind's in my favor, so that's good. And uh, I'm hoping I can catch up to him. We'll see. Okay. I tracked this. Can you, can you show them the deer? Hold on. I'll pull it out of the bushes. Okay. 
so yeah, I I tracked him up the. Oh, hold on, he's stuck in the tree. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Wow, is that? Wow, is that a oh big god. rat? Look at a rat. What is that, an eight pointer? Yeah. That's awesome, Zach. I So I tracked them up the mountain and uh, I was going nice and slow and then I saw his track cut uh, like looped around a little bit so I stopped and I peeked around this tree that was covered in snow and he was standing right there feeding. Oh, wow. So I backed up behind the tree again, pulled my gun up, clicked the safety off and then went back around the tree, shot him. Then he ran straight down the hill towards me, ran into my gun as I like jumped out of the way and I shot him a second time and then he plowed into these trees down here. That's awesome. Yeah. You get really good pictures of you and the deer, okay? Okay. All right. And then send them to the family group chat. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Bye. <clears throat> well, here he is, the day after Thanksgiving, I uh, came in here this morning around 7, couldn't find a fresh track from the road that wasn't taken already, so I decided to just head in the woods, I uh, went up cut up through a saddle around the back of this mountain, started heading back down, and I came across this guy's track, and he was heading across the side of the mountain at first, and then he hooked and went up, so I followed him right back up into here, almost up to the top, and I saw he made a little uh, hook while I was tracking him, so I stopped for a little bit. I peered around the tree, that was in front of me and he was standing there feeding. Um, so I backed up behind the tree, clicked the safety off, pulled the gun up and I was waiting a little bit cause his head was down and I wanted to make sure I saw antler before I pulled the trigger. So as soon as I saw antler, I uh, put it right behind the shoulder shot and he plowed right down the hill through the tree that I looked around and uh, almost ran into me and I shot him second time point blank and then I gave him a third as he uh, piled up down over the hill um, but yeah this is the first buck I've ever tracked and it's my uh, biggest Vermont buck might be my heaviest buck ever I don't know I'm gonna have to weigh him and find out definitely think he's my oldest buck I just looked in his mouth. He doesn't have much for teeth, but I, uh, I was beginning to get discouraged this year because I've been uh, hunting as much as I could, and I really haven't seen much deer at all. Um, so I'm feeling lucky today. This is definitely a blessing, and I can't wait to get him gutted out and drag him back down to the car get him loaded up and report him. Well, I got them all gutted out and uh, I'm gonna start dragging. Got a couple mile uh, drag back to the road, so I'm gonna get moving and hopefully he doesn't give me much of a hassle. I'm hoping it's mostly downhill, but we'll see. If I get him out by dark, I'll be happy.
I've made it about a mile so far. Say I'm about halfway there. Had to make a quick stop to uh, take a little drink from the stream and had to start a little fire to dry out my gloves. And then I'm gonna keep tracking along. Well, it's 3.30, just made it down to an old logging road. I'm hoping it's gonna be uh, an easy drag the rest of the way. I got about three quarters of a mile left. I'm thinking I'll get them out before dark. I got an hour, so I should be able to do it. At least get them to the road before dark. Then I got a couple mile walk to the car but yeah so here he is gonna get him out gonna weigh him up tonight at the uh reporting station and see how much he weighs it's quarter after four finally just made it to the road <clears throat> I'm gonna leave him right here and I'm gonna walk to the car it's gonna be a couple mile walk but at least it's on a road so it won't be that bad go get the car come back and load him up go uh, report him just spotted a porcupine Walking down this road. Hey, buddy. <laughs> 